the way we played, yeah. uh, not great. I, I, I didn't feel like we had our best game tonight. Um, I knew, we all knew, uh, Anchorage was going to play better, and they did. And I, thought they, I thought they played hard again. I, I thought they made some more plays again. I thought we, we defended pretty hard. Uh, we limited the number of shots with the exception of that one breakaway in the second. I, I, you know, and, and not having seen the tape, I don't think there was any glaring breakdowns defensively. Uh, I like the way we kill penalties. Um, I, I just, uh, you know, the feeling is in the second period we just got way too loose. I didn't think our first period was bad, and our, and our third wasn't bad. But again, we we, we, want, we don't want to be striving for it to be not bad. We want to be striving to be great every period. And I just didn't think we we, we played to that level tonight. Is it a good sign though that you can win when you're not at your best? I I, I think so. And, and again, I'm not. By, by no means am I downplaying the win. It was a win. Nice. I, I, I was waiting for the question to come to, 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 to uh, clarify that we're excited about the win. And we're not ever taking a win for granted. Not what, what we've been through. We played well and lost in the past. And tonight we didn't play well and we won. We found a way to win. And I think that's a sign of a good team. I know that you've heard it from coaches at all different levels. People say that. For us, it's real. We didn't play at our best. We found a way to win. Good for us. We're happy. Um, we took care of the, the opportunity that we had today, and we won. I think on the weekend you were 9 or 10 on the penalty kill. What's that say about the way you guys have come so far in the special team? Well, it says that we're, we're doing things with a purpose, and we all seem to be on the same page, and the one we gave up was a 5-on-3, and then that obviously happens. And watching, you know, again, from a coaching perspective, it, it, it hit a skate in front. And that's that's going to happen. Um, I, I What I liked in particular is I think we had one kill for sure in the third, and then another kill late. At least, at least half of, or, you know, I think maybe we, we drew a penalty at, with a minute and a half left on it or something like that, or 30 seconds left on it. Um, I, I thought those were two big kills. And, and we, it wasn't like we were scrambling. I thought we were under control. We were in shot lanes. Our sticks were good. We were battling. We made them earn the zone. All the things we want to be good at. You guys have heard us talk enough about being on the negative side of special teams, and, and we're finding a way to be on the positive side of special teams more often. And certainly the league title was a wonderful loss tonight, but no. certainly an important game. Absolutely. To be 2 and all. And Taking care of your home yeah. ice is, is you know, you, you don't see a lot of sweeps no matter what league you're in. You just don't see a lot of sweeps. You, you don't. There's a lot of splits going on. And when you when you take two on a weekend, you're, you're, you're making up ground on people. And I know it's early, but the, these games are going to matter like come the, the end of the year. And this next six, eight game stretch for us is, is the hardest stretch of our season, no doubt about it. And it's good to get off to a good start here with a couple wins at home. I mean, can you talk about the play that Salvo made to, uh, to set up the <laughs> Pretty good play. Yeah. You know, Dan's obviously a skilled hockey player. And, um, you know, watching it on tape, it even looks better because it's basically one guy in a, in a light jersey and five green guys watching him. And, and then uh, here comes Brent Tate, and Danny makes a great pass, and it was a good finish. And, you know, it was uh, – it was a big time play. At the time, I didn't think it would be the game winner, but uh, it's nice when the game winning goal is a, a nice play like that. And obviously, we all know Dan is capable of that. And, um, it was nice to see it happen. And Thomas Scholl wasn't challenged a lot tonight, but when he was, he still had Yeah, uh, you know, I, we'll, we'll always have things that we can work on with him. I thought a couple times with the puck, whether it be catching it or playing it, he wasn't great, but uh, or just, just not, not sharp. Uh, but he looked pretty good in there. I mean, he, he's, he's athletic in there. I thought he was under control. At times at Ohio State, he was a little bit out of control with his athleticism, which is hard to picture that, but th that's what it was. Uh, tonight he was in control. I thought, uh, and, and again, I said this before, we, we're confident with him in the net. Our players are confident with Thomas in the net, and that's a good thing for a freshman. Any uh, definitive word on Tom? No, he, he joined us uh, for the post-game talk there, and, and, and he seemed to be, he was walking fine and talking to us, but I'm sure he, you know, there's going to be some type of, uh, of diagnosis here over the next 24, 48 hours, and he banged his head pretty hard there, and we all saw it. I'm not sure if he lost con lost consciousness, but it, it sure looked like he was uh, he was woozy there. I, I, I don't know that. It's too early. Uh, I don't know what the protocol is. We've got doctors in the building, so I don't know. That's good. Thanks. Thanks a lot.